Hey there. I am going to do a large 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. Right here. Got to take it out of the package. And so I've mixed all my colors. They were just like the colors from the last video that I did two 12 by 12 pours. This is my white here in the cup. Don't want any color on the top that would accidentally pour out. So this is what I'm going to put a little bit maybe into the dirty pores, but also I'm going to put a layer on my on my canvas. So that's the white. Everything is mixed 50-50, one-to-one ratio with Oatrol Easy Flow. Easy Flow is harder to get, a little more expensive than Floatrol. This is a liter and it is available on Oatrol's site and on Amazon. So they are graciously let me use their product to try it out and it works really well. I love the leveling of it and the smoothness of it, no lumps, that kind of thing. So I left one color that I have, uh, it's a combination, all deco arts, combination of citron green and sour apple. So I've got the paint in here and I always do the paint first, then add my medium to it and then water is always last. I don't put water into it before I have mixed in the paint conditioner because you want the paint conditioner to combine and bind to the acrylic paint. These are four ounce cups. So I've got roughly about two ounces of paint, a little less because if I mix up four ounces to the brim, then I'm going to be, I won't be able to stir it or anything. So it's a little less than an ounce, no, a little less than two ounces of the DecoArt paint, a little less than two ounces of the Oatrol. And I didn't put in quite enough Oatrol into it. I just didn't want, I don't want to get too close to the top because when I add in the water, then it makes it really hard to stir in. This part is easy because the Oatrol is creamy, so it doesn't splash out. But if you put water in and you're close to the top, it's going to splash everywhere. So the water always comes at the end of the mixing. You make sure you scrape around the sides of your mixing cup to make sure your, all your paint is in and combined with the paint conditioner. And basically I kind of fold in the water like you're folding in on when you're cooking and batter in your mixing bowl. Fold in the water just a little bit at first, and then you can go faster and stir faster once it's gotten into the paint mixture a little bit. Then it's easier to mix. That's just about right. So just slowly at first to get the water into the paint and Oatrol. And then once it's in, I can stir faster. Just a good rule of thumb. So you don't want to splash all your paint out like you've probably seen me do before on other videos. If I get going too fast, I become really messy. I'm messy anyway. I'm not a patient person. I like to do things kind of quickly and that kind of thing. So that's pretty good consistency. Oh, so I wanted you to see me mix the Oatrol in, and I also have OGX Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum. One slight pump, not even a full pump really. A couple of stirs and it's in. Okay, so the rest of the colors that I'm using Titanium white, which is in the big cup. 
You saw the greens. This is Vintage Brass. I was trying to find the name on it. This is an 8 ounce Deco Art Metallics. It's super thick and creamy. You have to add your Oetrol to it and a pretty good amount of water. So this is Vintage Brass. I want a lot of goldish metallics, that's why I'm mixing all those. So that's what's in this, this little black cup. This one is Emperor's Gold. This one is Splendid Gold. Rich Espresso. The Red. And some of these I had left from the last mix. So it was a True Red and Alizarin Crimson. Um, this one was a combination of dioxazine, purple, magenta, and some true red to get a violet color. This is straight dioxazine purple. This one is a little bit of desert turquoise with a little bit of the ultra blue deep, which is this one. So I had to clean up on all one. I spilled my cup. I had to scrape it all back in. This is Sea Breeze. This one is Cadmium Yellow. I'm not going to use a bunch of either one of these. This one is Marigold. It just kind of lays on top. It doesn't really blend in a lot with the other colors. It's kind of frustrating. Bright orange. Put in the metallics Then the order I want to pour. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I like the turquoises against the purples. So there's my rainbow of colors. It says 14 ounces of paint. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That would be about an ounce of each color. But I want more gold and purple than anything. So what I'm going to do is about 2 ounces at least of those and maybe just an ounce of the yellows and oranges and stuff. So, and the previous video that I did, I did two 12 inch pours. I've got a little bit in here, and I've got quite a bit left in this cup, maybe an ounce and a half or so. Oh, and I have this one I had mixed earlier is Purple Rain. And it has no silicone in it or anything. And I've been using coconut milk with this. So I'm just giving a light pump. One, two, three. And this is going to probably go in as well. These are five ounce cups. So I switched to four five ounce cups. I don't want five flip cups. Okay, I got a piece of cardboard here that I can put over the cup and slide it onto the canvas. Hopefully that'll work that way. I'm not good at that. the violet. I'm trying to get about the same levels in each cup as well. And even though you pour four cups the same way, they'll always come out different. You don't get, you don't get the same results with each cup. I'm going to put this purple rain. I didn't want that much, but anyway. I should have added some water to this. I'm going to try to just drizzle a little white.
like I don't really want to sink down or anything like that if I don't if it doesn't have to so here's the deeper turquoise the blue kind of the bluish turquoise This is the sea breeze, which is more of the green turquoise. So some lime green. Gonna do a little bit of the cadmium yellow. little orange I'm gonna drizzle a little white again These are going to be pretty full. I'm going to go back to the violet color that I mixed. And this time I'm going to put the, uh, the purple rain between the violet and the dioxazine purple. I thought these were runnier than I, they feel pretty thick coming out of the cup, so I don't know. want a bunch of the metallic and I'm not going to have any room for it. So these cups are going to be full. I'm going to put, I'm actually going to switch to this brass color, vintage brass. That one's full. And I'm going to do the Emperor's Gold. Finish these up. So, get some of these colors out of the way that I know that I'm not going to need any more of. A little coconut milk and most all the colors except for white. I'm hoping I'll have big cells. I'm 
I'm just going to use my hand. I want to make sure I have some on the edges. wash my hands. I am terrible with sliding cups. This one is super full. in a hole. I, don't, I didn't want a big gap of white there in the middle. Now I'm going to sit and wait. I want my cells to grow. I have cells. I'll hit it with a heat gun. I am going to take this little cup, add some violet, sea breeze, Turquoise, dioxazine purple, purple rain. Cross through it a few times. I want to make sure that I've got. purple in the center part because it looked very orange and gold from whatever was at the top of the cups. I lifted that up because I think my I have a little slight incline or whatever. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes.
I have a drip pan, my aluminum pan. like this orange streak. This is too solid right here. I'll try to add a little of that purple and so forth and a cup of leftovers that I'm going to try to drizzle something through there, yeah. So a lot of times I'll, the key is not to get your fingers in the paint. <clears throat> Sometimes it's just kind of roll the skewer or something through it. Put a little purple and blue here. get that I love this color but I didn't want a whole massive thing of it so I'm just trying to spread this purple out a little bit Just don't want heavy solid areas.
funny the one white straight there. Let's see. Kind of like swiping, you're just doing it really gently. I like this and some of the cells have gotten big and that is great. I've got the purples which I wanted. I've got the golds. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can cover this orange here. With some gold. Get rid of that orange. I wish that white spot wasn't there, but I'm gonna leave it because there will be more. There may be more white that pops through. And actually, I wish there were a little bit in this area because I do love this area. So I'm gonna take my skewer, Just a little bit of white. up a little bit on my table and roll my skewer in it. Just kind of twist it through. And that just gives it a little bit to break it up. The same for this area. Just twist a little white into it and hope that it'll pop out a little bit more. Now on this end I've got some cells First of all, I want to make sure I have all my edges covered. I thought I, I, thought I hit my shirt when I moved it, so just going back and touching up where I hit it.
So these areas popped up where you kind of see down to the canvas, or maybe it's the white paint, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to put some metallics back onto it. Maybe um, a little violet. I'm going to take my violet and just, just kind of roll on it. I'm liking this pretty well. I do want to get rid of that little bit of chunk of white. It bothers me. So I'm sticking my skewer in the deep dioxazine purple. And just did that. And I think I'll put... Now how on earth I dripped color into my gold here. I'm swishing it around. Get rid of the white. So I feel pretty good about this. Maybe a little bit of um, a little bit of the orange there. So you can take your skewer and just gently roll. Like if you don't like, you just very gently roll over something. It kind of carries that color into the other color. That makes sense. There's going to be some pretty drippings underneath this canvas, that's for sure. Now, the only thing is, I just got, it's sitting on my full pan. So I'm taking that out of the way and I'm going to bring my canvas back. So I did the three Cosmos Galaxy ones that I loved. And my friend loved it, but she said that they loved cells. So I think I achieved that on this one. They're not gigantic, but she didn't say gigantic cells. She just said they loved cells. So, I think this one is going to work. I am going to clean my hands off and then I'm going to bring the camera down to you. I'm going to bring the camera down to look at the painting. See, that's where I added the white, and it's it's making itself more known there. So that some of the metallic gold is popping out here and there, which is good, because I wanted it to. His favorite colors are purple and gold, but every color. They wanted every color, so I think I got that feel. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up please and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.